Hello, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be discussing the topic of typecasting, which is a way of converting variables of one data type to another data type. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, we're going to first talk about something, uh, a term called type juggling, which is something that PHP does, um, which is a way it automatically sort of converts um, items of variables of one particular data type to another. Um, we're going to talk about typecasting itself, which is the actual process of doing that. And then we're going to talk about um, a couple of different common conversions, like when you um, cast or convert a variable of one data type to another, certain rules apply and um, certain things occur. And we're going to talk about some common cases for, for strings, uh, for some arithmetic operations, and uh, for converting things to Boolean values. So type juggling, uh, wh what does that mean? Well, well PHP is known as a, as a weakly type language. And then what that means is that when you declare a variable in PHP, you don't have to give it an explicit type. So when we do a equals one, we're not, uh, we're not saying to the compiler, or excuse me, to PHP that, um, that a is an integer variable. PHP determines the variable's type from its context. So if we assign it an integer, it's going to be an integer variable. If we assign it, a variable, a floating point number, PHP knows that B is a floating point number. This is different from uh, strongly typed languages where, for example, in another language you might, if you want to declare A to hold an integer, you'd actually have to preface it with, a, like, for example, maybe the int keyword, which says that A is a data type integer. Now, the thing about PHP is, um, because it's weakly typed, uh, a variable can also change data types. Um, Whereas in other languages, you might only be able to um, assign integers to a variable that's declared an integer. In PHP, if we have a equals 1, in the next line of code, where this means this, line, this statement will say a is an integer that's equal to the value 1, we can in the very next line say a is equal to 2.5, and we've just implicitly changed the data type of a, the variable a. PHP now knows that a is a float data type, and it does that on its own. Um, and because in, um, in languages, um, operations and functions uh, require data of certain types to work, for example, um, numeric operators require numbers, uh, the string concatenation operator requires strings to be its operands, um, uh, because they require that, uh, PHP does what's known as automatic type conversion. In other languages um, that, doesn't have, oh, that aren't weakly typed, um, you actually have to explicitly use for example, if you're adding integers, you have to explicitly use two variables that are of the data type um, integer. In PHP, it does that for you automatically. If you try to add two, two numbers and they're not both integers, PHP does an automatic conversion for you. And we're going to learn a little bit more about the specifics of actually numeric conversions that it does. Uh, so if, for example, like when you add two numbers, it requires them to be numbers. If you provide uh, in PHP two variables to an addition operator um, that are not numbers, uh, PHP is automatically going to convert them for you uh, to the appropriate type and then perform the operation. This automatic conversion is known as what the lesson is titled today, typecasting. Uh, and that's basically um, converting data from one data type to another. Um, because this happens automatically in PHP, um, PHP has certain rules that it follows um, when it does this, and they may not be that obvious. Um, so it's important that you understand the um, automatic casting rules that PHP uses um, so that you can get expected results. So typecasting, as mentioned, is the process of um, changing a variable from one data type to another data type. This can be either done implicitly, as in um, automatic type conversion, where PHP converts, converts the data type for you, or you can do it explicitly, where you can explicitly say, I have a variable that's an integer, I want to make it a float. Um, there are two ways to explicitly cast a variable from one data type to another. Um, you can use parentheses syntax, which we're going to talk about in a second, and or the set type function. So, for example, if we have a variable here, int one, that's set equal to the integer value, integer literal one, and we want to make that a float variable, um, what you can do is we can create a new variable called float one, and what we do is we set it equal to the integer variable, variable name, and then what we do is we have parentheses with the word float in between them, and what that means is. This, this parentheses segment right here says, take the value of int1 
convert it to a float, and then assign it to float one over here. Set type does a similar thing, except in the way set type works is it's a function that has uh, what are known as ar it has two arguments, which we're going to learn more about when we learn more about functions. But for right now, um, you can just know that basically you, you write set type and then a pair of open and closed parentheses, and then you pass it two two pieces of data. You pass it the variable you want to cast. In this case, num. We're going to cast a variable num, and then you uh, you pass in a string that says what you want to cast it to. So what this operation is going to do is um, cast the um, variable num, which maybe is an integer, to a Boolean. So it's going to change it from a number data type, like an integer data type, to a Boolean data type. Um, now, one thing to note is that um, when you use parentheses casting as up here, um, it doesn't permanently change the data type of the object or of the variable that it's casting. So when this operation here completes, I'll clean this up a little bit. So when this statement right here completes, int1 is still going to be an integer. It's just its value was converted to a float before it was assigned to, to float1, but int1 is still an int. If you use the setType function to explicitly cast it, it actually changes the type of the, um, of the variable specified. So this is essentially the same as if we had used parentheses form. So whereas up here, the, um, the variable to the right of um, the cast in parentheses, its value does, it's, it doesn't, data type doesn't get changed. Down here, um, because we're assigning it back into the same variable name, its data type does get changed. And that's what the setType function does.